What's going on everybody? Suro here. Welcome back to the channel. Now today I'm going to show you how you can duplicate this chest right here. This chest right here is the chest that actually spawns with the house. Whenever you move into this house you have this chest and then as you upgrade your house you can increase the storage. This chest right here has the most amount of storage as any chest in the game. So why would you want to duplicate that? Well it's actually not because it holds more space because when you duplicate this chest it's not going to allow each of the new chests to have their own inventory. So even if I craft or get 10 more of those specific chests, they are all going to share one inventory. Now, I know that sounds like a bummer, but that actually brings upon a feature that they need to add to the game. It's kind of like an ender chest on Minecraft. If you're not familiar with Minecraft, an ender chest is a specific type of chest that is universally sharing its inventory with the other chest in the game. So, for example, if I put something in this chest here, and then I have the same kind of chest over in, like, the forest, they're going to share the same inventory. Now, this is not supposed to be in the game, and I do look for them to fix it, but we can definitely use it for now, and I, I think it's going to be really useful. So, I'm going to show you that I actually have a few chests, and I'm going to show you exactly how you can do it. So, if you look over here in the storage tab, I have four of them right here, so I can go ahead and put them down. And use them however I want. To actually get this done is you have to use a little bit of an exploit. So what you have to do is completely empty out this chest, right? So fully empty it out and then back out. Now that you've backed out, go back into the little build mode. Click on the chest and then put it in your inventory. It's the middle mouse button for me. It might be X for you if you're on Xbox or what have you. That's what you want to do. So now that it's in your inventory, and you have to keep it in the, your inventory, otherwise it's this isn't going to work. So now we are going to go over to Scrooge McDuck's little shop, and we're going to order some more from him. And this is why I said you have to have it in your inventory, because if you just pick it up and you get the recipe for it, like you unlock it, and then you put it back down and you come over to Scrooge's base, he's not going to be selling it. So keep it in your inventory just for this first time. And let's go take a look at what he's got. So talk to him, go to I'd like to order some items, go down to furniture, and then go over to storage, and you're going to see it's actually unlocked right here for 3200 so you can purchase as many as you would like. So I purchased about six of them, and I'm going to go back to my base. Now I'm going to show you exactly how the sharing feature works. Alright, so now that I have that, I'm going to go to my storage, and I'm going to place my original chest down. This is what I'm going to put my resources in. And I'm going to show you this in real time so you can better understand. So let's throw some cocoa beans in there and some raspberries and some coal. I back out. If I go back in, see it's right there. Now we are going to go and travel to where I've placed another chest down. And you're going to see that it's it's uh, they share the same inventory, which is really cool. I'm just going to run there so you can see this in real time. Now, why would you want to do this? Well, if you put one of these chests in each biome... It'll be a lot easier to manage your storage. You can actually send stuff back to your base without having to carry it or even drop some items because you're too full and you won't have to teleport. So here's where I put one of my other chests. I access it and boom, there's all the stuff. I can then put my softwood or whatever I have in here after I get done farming. Let's go ahead and teleport back and then head inside the house and see what's inside. All right, there we go. We're going to hop in the house really quick. And as you see, all of the, the items are inside the chest, so you can kind of just pass them back and forth between each other. So upgrade your house, get the full storage, and then you'll be able to do that wherever you want. Put multiple chests all over your map, and it's going to be a good time. So thank you guys so much for watching the video. I really hope you enjoyed. Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next Dreamlight Valley video.